Yo, 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 and we're back with, come on, let's get it. New Jack Thriller City, man, going down in a major way. Yo, man, I got the hostess with the mostest. Yo, my girl, BBL, Big Bad London. <laughs> Come on, Wait, now, you gotta be very careful when you say BBL. They're gonna think that I'm gonna got a BBL. No, I definitely went and got a tummy tuck. Got my boobs done too, but not necessarily BBL. Yo, you already can't. Okay, goddamn, booty sold separately. I got booty, it. So, booty came in first, but okay. the other stuff I bought. Okay. Yeah. It, it looks amazing. It looks amazing, man. I wouldn't have it any you other way. You got a BBL too, right? Yeah, I definitely got a BBL. Back with the butt lift? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah! Your butt is in your stomach. You, oh, <laughs> shit! Hey, you, 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 I you, you, I see what you did to me. You saw he stole on me, man. If you didn't know, <laughs> that voice now, you know right now, man. Yo, this is the incomparable, man. The legendary. Man, he hails from Brooklyn, New York. This is the king of Caribbean comedy. Absolutely. Major Hype! Gang right now, you know what I'm saying? What's good, bro? Hey, hey now we happy to have you on the show, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Welcome to New Jack I'm Thriller good. City. Okay. Yo, yeah, yeah, you, I, what you think about Delicious outfit today? I mean, she look like the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. Oh, come on now. <laughs> special ticket. You, you're trying to give her that Jolly Rancher, huh? You got that special ticket. I you see understand? what you're doing. Yeah. I see what I you don't hit it with the twigs now. I mean, you know, Delicious always looks delicious. So. You, come Thank on. Thank you. Yeah. And you look great, too. Thank you. I, I decided to that. break this out for him today, Jack. Hey, hey, listen, I appreciate you it. They said, they said like we was flirting on the live, so why not? Hey, hey, it, it, it's only right. I'm single, you single? I'm so single. Oh. Come on now. Yes, I just a wear deal. this ring. It's very cute. You know, it's nice. My husband, ex-husband, a strange husband, he bought it, so I'm going to keep oh, wearing it. We but not, I'm single. We're going to have to get that off that finger. Hey, listen, I told her to let me get that, so you know what I'm saying? If yeah, I get engaged. Yeah, we to pawn that. He was telling me I should go and pawn it. Yeah, we got to pawn no, that. No, we but need, I like it. Give it to your dog. Let me go goddamn get engaged. To somebody else, they know we shouldn't let that engagement oh, ring like go away. Family heirloom, right? Yeah, I mean, come you on, giving it to somebody else. <laughs> come on, no, somebody else that really needs it. Somebody, I don't need it. You do damn sure don't, don't need it. You don't need it. You need, you need, yeah, you need room for another ring on your finger. Right. I like that. That's right. You need I room. Like that. That's right. Yes, That's you make room for that. Get that shit I, away absolutely. to the needy. Cause my boy yeah. made your height. Yeah, I, could. I, 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 I got, I got him upgrading hey, look, you. Hey, look, where I, I got him upgrading where you. Where I shop at? Listen, I could go get your tires. I could get a ring, and I could get you an outfit. And one spot. Walmart. Mm. That's not like Detroit. Did you say Walmart? Wally, Wally's World. Yep. And Walmart. Yeah, forever Wait, forty-two. You can do that. Tajay you can get too. We can go to Tajay. Tires, a ring, and what else? And an outfit, and some groceries. I like it. I like it. You know, we could go to Target if you want. You like, like Target? I like Target. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, you tell yeah. Target. No, you gotta say Target. Target is so sounds much better. Sounds a little more bougie. You're right. You know, you know what? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do Target. They got them pumpkin spice uh, candles in there too. <laughs> That's I like to go to Target for pumpkin spice candles. You like pumpkin spice? Oh, I love pumpkin spice. Oh, no, I'm not into that. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. that should have your house smelling right. When them girls come over and they smell that pumpkin spice, mm -mm. nigga, I'm trying to tell you. Mm -mm. I got, I got, Eric, I got Erica Badu incense. In oh, it smell like that. Mm -hmm. She can smell like that. You know that? Mm -mm, yeah, she got. It's called. It's called thing. Baduce. Yeah. Oh, Baduce. Yeah, it's, I it's like supposed that. to be like a, a fragrance of her butt and vagina. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've never desired having the fragrance of Mrs. Badu's butt and Jiny, but. Now that I've thought about it, I'd, I'd be interested. And you should do that for yourself. Really? It's a lot you of people come that would that love fragrance. to smell really? you. Really? So how do you get the smell exactly? What, what do you... Well, they have a professional... How is the research done? They have a professional fragrance person that comes out and, and takes... And smells your butt. And does, yes. Okay. okay. Well, that, that, that would be nice. See, it, it, it sounds like y'all about to create a situation <laughs> here right now. <laughs> it sounds like y'all about to create a situation I mean, you know. Yeah. You never know. What was your, what was your fragrance? That is the symbol of the smell of well, your butt crack. Put, what just, would it be called? He just put Dentine Ice under uh, his. Oh, uh, shit. I, I call it BH. What's BH? Booty hole. That's my, that's my, my booty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moon pie. You, you know about that moon pie. I'm a little Remember weird. Remember we talked so about my, that moon pie? My, fra my fragrance might be a little different because I'm a little What's weird. What's yours? What was yours? It might be armpit or something. Okay. Armpit. Yeah. I'm, I like I'm that. into different stuff. Yeah, yeah, me too. Mine would be nose job. People swear I've had one. I haven't, but nose job. That, I think that would be very dope. Mm. Nose mm. job by Delicious. Yes, mm. I think that that would be pretty interesting because it's where you put your nose that you want to smell that, and so I think it would just all. So come nose and armpit go together though. I see what y'all doing. You better be careful. I see what you're doing. We entrepreneurs. Y'all frisky. 
They Number entrepreneurs. Eight. Something's yeah. happening on this set right here. I'm glad you're over there. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, hey, hey. Thank me later. Something about this couch. Hey, thank me later. <laughs> it's a brand new couch, too. Oh, yeah? Not exactly, but. What? Hey, don't do it, me like that. <laughs> don't do me like it's that. It's new to us, though. You had a dog on it? Why you say that? It's smelling puppyish over here. I don't know. And my uh -huh. On this side, like. Darius. Don't do that. I don't, I don't know. know what you be doing when know. we ain't here, Darius. Now you don't know do that. OCD is. You yeah, got dogs too. on the couch? Me too. Me too. OCD. Darius, <laughs> you have not had strange homeless yeah. people sitting on this couch, have you? Don't do it. I'll be killing people. Really. Darius be looking out for his homeboys yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, they come and sleep okay. on our set and shit. Oh, that's not good. When we not shooting. <laughs> Darius, I saw that, that stain in that other spot over there. Oh, mm. my God. Mm. Mm. Darius, I love you. you better than that. You're getting action for the both of us. For, on for the both next me and first Jack. 48. The first 48. <laughs> a lot of snitching going and, on right now. the second 48. Oh, my bad. You're right. We are totally, you know, violating the code. Sorry, Darius. <laughs> but I saw the stain. Man, fuck that snitch. What you drinking over there, brother? Oh, I'm, I'm having some Merlot, man. I'm a Merlot type of guy. Merlot. Mm -hmm. That's smooth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a I'm sexy R&B nigga. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm going to upgrade you one of these days. Hey, hey don't, don't lie to me. You know, that's don't some Red Lobster shit right there, you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, oh, in I'm front gonna of bring, my I'm going to bring you somewhere nice. <laughs> you going to dog you know, me in front of there? You can get some Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, dang. Mm. Hey, that, oh, 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 something in the name. That right there. Are you trying to bless me? I mean, that's giving Buckhead, you know what I mean? <laughs> nice. <laughs> are you from Georgia? No. Uh, wait, you really are from, are you from Jamaica? I'm from the Caribbean, okay. yes. Okay. And um, I was raised in New York. Okay. And I've been here for the last five years, and I'm just loving the transition. Tell them why you moved here, though. Um, I moved here because it's too expensive to live in New York. That's one of the main reasons. I can't get, I can't wake up eight o'clock in the morning to be moving my car from side to side. Is that some bullshit? Or That's what? the worst shit so ever. So what is that about? If you're not from New York, what does that mean? What you mean? Like you said, moving your car from side to side. Well, if you're not from New York, mm -hmm. then you, then you know, they have the street side sweeping every four days oh. out of the week. Okay. And the, the tickets itself is very expensive. And you have to move your car. <laughs> Seven fifty. I paid four of them. If you do not move your car to the other side of the yes. street, one hundred. get a ticket, and then eventually you get a boot on it, and then eventually they'll come get it. Oh mm -hmm. wow. Okay. So That's you, what happened you have to me. options. In the oh, my my, wow. my, um, my ex wife used to always get us boots on the car, and like, bitch, I kill you. <laughs> I fucking kill you. Oh, the boot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. You, for seven fifty every time you get one, of, like, bitch, why don't you put this shit inside so ba so the back garage? In, for so so back, back in the days, they never used to do the boot thing. They right. used to just let the bills accumulate until they just come tow it. Right. But now they're being a little nicer. They're giving you an option. How so, is that nice though? Because they're not actually taking your car. Yeah. If, if they, oh, if they, they tow your to car and get... take it to the pound, oh, okay. you don't it can get that. scratched. It's, it's a lot of things that could happen while, you know, your car is being So what towed. is the difference with the boot? You still got to call them The up? boot, you got like two two days, okay. maybe. You know what I'm saying? So if you come outside, because, you know, it's very embarrassing <laughs> to be at a date, on a date, you know, because they get you anywhere. It's not necessarily in front of your house. You might be on a date, you know, you're coming out of a restaurant, you got your girl with you, bam, they go a, a, a boot. A boot? Okay, so why is it that they're getting me at the restaurant? Because you parked wrong at the restaurant? No, because they, they, ran, they ran your plate they, they and they see plate. that you have accumulation of Okay, they're of just tickets. bored with life. Well, the, uh, New, New, York New York actually thrives off of <laughs> that. They make, they make like, what? Six mil a year? Well, see, you wouldn't make it if you were where I'm at, because, hey, you can you... charge me as much as you want. I'm from Detroit. Oh. Yeah, you can But build you might us. get shot there, though. Yeah, you're not getting the money, so yeah. you're just going to constantly be building. There. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get out of that boot. But as a why she don't stay in Detroit now. Because my daughter attended school at Spelman, so. Mm. I so you go. are you trying to tell me if she wasn't going to school down there? You would here, still be in Detroit? That's what you're telling me. Well, I've been there for the longest. I'm 44 now. This is the first time. Oh, you're other than college. Out ages and everything? Oh, I think that. Oh, that's a grown woman right there. The nights are getting longer, but the breezes aren't the only thing that's going to get you stiff. That's right. This episode is brought to you in part by Blue Chew. Choo 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 choo. Blue Chew! Aouga! Blue Chew is a unique online service that has the same ingredients as uh, Viagra or Cialis. And it's all in one little pill. It's a chewable pill too. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't like to swallow, 
hey, I'm, I'm, I'm unpausable. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead just in case, you know what I'm saying, things don't fall in time that you had set that thing up and whatnot. You still gonna be able to rise to the occasion if you know what I mean. Man, the process is simple. I'm talking about super simple. You can do this by yourself. Yeah, sign up at bluechew.com with one of our licensed medical advisors. That's right, man. And they're gonna give you a prescription and you'll be ready to come to your house in days. It's just that simple. The best part, that it's done online. So there's no doctor's visits, no awkward conversations, or no long lines at the pharmacies, and you know how that can be. Everybody ain't got to be inside your business knowing that you about to have sex because maybe you want people to think you a virgin. So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, man, chew it and do it. Chew it and do it. Chew, chew. Or should I say, blue chew. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a special deal for all of our listeners too, man. Well, you can try blue chew for free if you just pay $5 for shipping if you use the promo code THRILLER. That's bluechew.com. Promo code THRILLER to receive your first month for free. Visit bluechew.com to get more safety information about blue chew. And I just want to say thank you to blue chew for sponsoring my podcast, man. I really appreciate you. I love blue chew. Chicka 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 blue chew. Yes, I that's love a grown woman. Mm, I can do I love weird it too. stuff. I trust it. I can do old people stuff and blame it on my age. Mm, you know mm. what I'm saying? If I get, go crazy. Oh, she always. So you one of those people? You one of those people that make like arrangements at six and then by nine o'clock you asleep. It could go down like that. I don't prefer to do that. I just like to say no from the beginning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm 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 43. Oh, you look good. And in and in uh, You're I, still flirting. In, in this stage of the game right now, I'm the guy that you call. You take me out to the club. Yeah. And I'm immediately ready to leave. Really? Yeah, I'm that's the me annoying too. dude. I'm that's the me. annoying dude. I'm like, yo, what's up? What are we doing here? Yeah. Oh my God, that what is doing? Norm. I'm yawning. Darius and Ryan. Yeah, I'm I yawning. I'm, I'm like, yo, what's people. going on? What are we doing here? It's something. And I got a lot of immature friends that want to, you know, impress people with bottles and stupid stuff like oh, that. Wow. Yo, let's get a bottle. I'm like, really? bro, bottle. I'm gonna have a Guinness and I'm gonna go home. Okay, so to be honest with you, since the pandemic, I'd rather not even. Go out, let's just party at my house, which is really not going to be a party. It's probably going to be remote control, <laughs> some drinks. We're going to order in. I like to cook. I, like I can that. cook something, and we got to chill. You got to be very to clean because I like well. OCD. Check your shoes at the door. Let me make sure. Oh, that's check how we party. That's how we party. Yes, it's that's safe. what you're doing. So it's make sure you niggas make, hide your party. Make sure you got good. <laughs> that's what, what you're doing. Make sure you, you got on good socks. Jack, I was just having fun. Hey Jack, make sure you got on good socks when you go by her house. Yes, as long as you can take your shoes off, you can pass my temperature check. You temperature check people? No, it's you don't. It's a different world. You don't do that. I temperature check my kids. I do. They are, they're in school with a lot of snotty noses for about eight to ten hours a day. It's important. So what if they be sick when they come home? What they come home, mom. They, they were, uh -uh. So so wait. Once so, they pass them, they get so wait, 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 wait. Question, 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 <laughs> question. Right. So if your child comes home, yeah, and has a high fever, do they have to? Um, Quarantine in the garage? No, call a neighbor. You're not my kid. Call that a week. neighbor. Yeah, call a neighbor. It's not going down. You know, it's just, a, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, because don't let them call uh, child services on you. No, uh, well, you know what? My kid, I'm be honest with you, my 12 year old is different. Now that they've lifted the mask mandate, she still goes to school in a, a mask. mask. Okay. Yeah, she wears a mask every single day. So she is not even trying to play that. And plus, she doesn't want to be bothered with me and my nonsense with my OCD. So she keep it cute, keeping me I'm OCD school. like And crazy. then, you, do you know how stinking kids breath be at 12? <laughs> Let me tell you so something. I don't blame Excuse her. Me? Not Lexington. No, I like I'm, I'm talking about everybody except her. Thank you. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, man. This, this, era, this generation is different, man. It really hey, is. Hey, like I be, you, you ever went to the club and you had on a t-shirt and you sweating and then a dude come over there with a hoodie on? Yeah, you're and like, I know you're hot. And he's not even sweating? And he ain't even sweating. He ain't even sweating. They don't do drugs. I don't understand. What's the hoodie thing about? He on meth. He meth on make meth. you cold. <laughs> meth make you cold. Bl it's black people on meth now. That's yeah, what we have. Really? Black people on meth. Mm -hmm. I went on a date meth. with a girl that had meth in the car. So what exactly is meth? 
Is I don't know. I was watching Breaking Bad, and um, that's all I know about it is Breaking Bad. Is it powder? Is it liquid? Is no, it's it, a rock. It's like a rock. It's, it's like crack. It's white people crack rock. Meth. Okay, so it's equivalent to crack. It's white people crack it's rock. It's white people crack. And you said black people are on it? Yes. They're on it now. Black yeah. people are I doing it now. I thought black people right now were big on, like, Percocet. Lean. They, they, now, they, they rap Future about it. Hot. They can't. They, they rap about that's it. That's when Future was okay. hot. Okay. And then yeah. the other one, people are actually dying from the um, uh, fentanyl. fentanyl? Yeah. yeah. Well, fentanyl is a cut. I yeah. Mean, as a matter of fact, let me not incriminate It's like myself. ether. It's okay. like... I don't, used to cut about, I don't know much about fentanyl. I'm into cannabis right now, so I, I want to know. <laughs> they, they putting it in. They putting in cannabis. No. Yes, they is. It's everywhere. Yes, they they show fentanyl enough. Fentanyl everywhere. Did we say low key? It say low key or well, fentanyl yeah, on I your mean, weed. You hear somebody say they got the loud pack? Yeah. Yeah. And I only like exotics. So mm. tell me what I'm doing. Mm. The nigga, you, you believe in other niggas saying this shit exotic? No, listen. When I went and got my boobs done the third time, because they they burst or whatever the first two times. They burst. Well, women go through so much that we just, you know. Is that from the pressure from, like, flights? Well, no. I think that it was from the pressure of a bad doctor. A lot of times, oh. back when we first started, when women first started to go and get the surgery or whatever, it was like if you saw somebody online and they look good in that photo, then you would immediately, you know, go to the doctor and you would assume that what you saw is going to be your outcome. I mean, a lot of us have learned. I'm just being honest. I yeah, know because I don't. I don't came across a few lumpy breasts. Yeah, and so well, I don't mind. They're not. You want to? Well, I'll wait yeah. afterwards because yeah, I don't want we'll Jack to get yeah, jealous. Yeah, you know, yeah. he gets jealous. But no, they're not. Um, they're not lumpy now. But when I got my surgery, don't worry, he can't see. He can't see. Okay. The aftercare. <laughs> the aftercare nurse. She said, "How is your pain?" I said, "This because she said scale of one to ten. Um, it is, are the drugs working? I said, yes, they're a 10. She said, well, we're not going to do too much because it's, um, it's heroin. But I was, excuse me. Heroin. She says it's Percocet. And she told me that it has heroin in it. And I'm like, yo, nobody ever breaks down these drugs that you just purchased. And I'm, I'm like, oh my God, I'd rather feel pain for the mm. remainder of my recovery. That's crazy. I didn't. I ended up doing it again. But it was only because I was in so much pain. You know what I'm saying? But I, I felt bad later that. Would you got a reduction? Jack? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to get. <laughs> I'm down to an A now. I'm down to an A. You got and, a reduction? Yeah. You know, I, I used to be a whole B. Did you know about his, his stripping B. days? Uh no. Yeah, he was a dancer. Tell me your name, Jack. Bob Wire. I'm small, but I could. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> that was my name. It's not Bob it's Wire. And tell about the time the guy gave my, you a hundred dollars. You know what my name bill. was, right? Hmm? What was your stripper name? Slick Dick the Ruler. Wait, so you were a stripper too? Yeah, I got a reduction too, but I didn't get it on my chest. Oh, it was too big? Yeah. A little mandingo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what kind of yeah. problem is that though? Yeah, it's, it's not good to... They complain. That yeah. shit get on your nerves though when you yeah. walk around yeah. regular. It's not good, but it's, you know. Yeah, when your dick just be hanging down like by your knees. Yeah, like, that's not yo, cool. Yo, man, it's just like I'm tired of yeah. folding my shit up and balling it up. That's like, you know, safari. Is that really your, that's, that's your problem? <laughs> That's a problem? No, that really is a problem for us ladies because we want to keep our uterus that, intact. Well, I don't know. At one know. point, I, people thought it was a compliment. I No, I don't want to see that drop to the floor. Put that back away. No. It's you don't like, like that? Hold on. Your uterus what, can you drop. You know what's, you know what's, no, you know what's crazy, like Jack? When they when women are young, they like that. They want that whole what, that experience. They want that whole bladder infection. Okay. But when what? when they get oh, older, they be like, nah, I'm good. Like, we, you know, Don't put it in my stomach. You don't I, want yeah. I want a good house. six, a big six. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want a bouncy house. You don't want a man going in there and he's not filling any walls because, you know. Yeah, that's been, not a thing. I, I, I hate it when it happens. It's like throwing a hot dog down an empty that's house. That's true. <laughs> you experience that a lot? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah. You like a KFC spicy wing, huh? I hate it. Yeah, I hate it. It's, you got to pick your women in a different small area. And spicy. Hey, listen, I'm, that's why, I, that's why I, I'm, a, I'm a booty hole guy myself. <laughs> oh. You know, I'm, I'm all about that BH man. Keep in mind that what I'm Caribbean, bro. Uh -huh. Keep in mind that I'm Caribbean. You talking crazy? No, wait, that's right a now. thing. That's yeah, not a what? thing. Oh, it's not a thing. That's not a thing. Okay, in the so Caribbean. you got it. Okay, so in your culture, booty hole. Yeah, that's a bad a thing, thing. To, to enter a woman. Yes. Booty? Okay, I agree. Booty hole. It's not supposed to be done. I think it's torture. You know, I think it's. Well, if it's not supposed to be done, why can't you do it? Can I do you? There's a lot of things that you could do that's not supposed about? to be done, bro. Can I, can I, can I, can I do you? What are you talking exactly, about right now? Exactly, that's you exactly how we feel. No, 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 but it, that, you, you don't want to do me. I don't. You're just saying that. 
Oh, are you yeah, thinking she, of what I'm telling you that, was I, into I, that? You sound like you were considering No, it. I'm no. That's no, no, that's not what I meant when I say you that. into glory holes? Say what? Are you into glory holes? I don't know what that is. That's uh, on the wall. You just stick yeah, it in you there. Just you stick just stick it in and whoever whoever do whatever. No, nah, that's no, nah, I need to know who's sucking my dick. We create glory holes. <laughs> so we right sick there. of our husband. We so, say, go enjoy the glory hole. No, I, I need to know what's happening on the other side. That's what I'm saying. So what you talking about? It's possible it happens, but it's not supposed to happen. What you mean? It could be a male BH and you're sticking yourself into the glory no, hole. I'm, no, I'm talking about with women. So I got a story, right? What are they talking about? They got this little place. What's going on right now? <laughs> so, you know, I've been in Atlanta for like five years, right? Mm -hmm. And I've, I've adapted to the culture. They ignore mm -hmm. me. Right? How much have you adapted to it? Um, mm, mm, 89%. Okay, okay. Cool. Right? Mm -hmm. So um, they have this place. I'm not gonna mention no names, but uh, there's this there's this little place down in the city that you go like to buy your like toys and mm. you know you buy like your lingerie yeah, and I'm stuff familiar. like that. You know you know that place. I don't know what that's it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't Is it? I don't know. Is, does it stay open late at night? Yes. Yes. Oh, so insurrection. Be the same place. And you can huh? go in the back. What insurrection? No, no, it's another place. No, it's so anyway, you can go in the back, mm -hmm. right? When you go in the back now, it's like you in a like a like a like a like a playhouse. Yes, almost. you are. Y'all right? hitting it up it's really dark. good. No, I'm speaking to you too, brother. Okay. You may you might have been down yeah, there. Yeah, you might have been there. Nah, I ain't never gonna. I don't get out much. So look, I go down in this place and it's dark in there, right? Mm -hmm. It's dark and it's like a maze. Like you just walk around and whoever you bump into, you bump into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm walking through this spot, and uh, you know, I'm walking, and I hear somebody call my name. Somebody was like, "Major." I'm like, I turn around, and it was like this 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 transgender dude, right? But he mm -hmm. was Caribbean, so he knew who Did I was. Did you know automatically? No, I didn't. Yeah. What's going on? So he was like, "Major," and he, you know, he did the little major, oh. and I was like, I turned around, I was like, he was like, I watch all your videos. Oh my God, what you doing here? And it, that Dude. night that I went in there, it was like that was it night. Lit? Was it lit? No, it wasn't lit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, because it was nothing but men in there. Yeah, that's the thing, Jack. It's it's nothing but men in. in, in I didn't know that's. Not, I don't. I, don't I didn't there. know that was the atmosphere, but I had to hurry up and get out of there. As a woman, I, I. I had to hurry up and get out of there. I had a good time. Because I was like, if somebody recognized me again, it's I had to put the problem. mask on and everything. I put the mask on. But you got to tell us, why is it bad in your culture for women to um, be penetrated from the back? I don't like that story. <laughs> why? <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out why you told us that. Man. Because we were talking about the idea of Atlanta. Because we were talking about that. Yeah. And we were talking about BH and booty holes, <laughs> and he was telling us that. In his culture, a man should not enter a woman's well, there's a, All right, so. I, don't, I still don't, not seeing the correlation. It's okay. You're not seeing the correlation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so so put it like this, right? Okay. Tell me out. If you go to Jamaica, come again. If you go to Jamaica, mm -hmm. do not call yourself mm -hmm. BH. Oh, they're gonna throw stones. Whether it's entering a woman or a man, do not say. I don't, I don't want to enter to a man. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. I never said it one time. But, what are, what's going but on? a booty's a booty. <laughs> what's going on right now? A booty, a booty is, is a booty. booty. If, I think that if you're, if you can do both. If you're, if you do one. A booty what, is a what booty. What are y'all talking about? If you can do one, you can do both. Because it, it really is, a booty, is not a booty? backwards. No, you can't see no, anyone. No, what's the difference? No, man. What's, what's really the difference? Uh, uh, boys have penises and girls have vaginas. But yeah, but that's not where you at. You're not there. You in the back. Yeah, but I, do you, do you, before I did that, I had already established that it was a woman. <laughs> you can do that already, with a man nowadays. Yeah, I don't want that, though. Okay. That's not what I want to do. Okay. I, right. I don't know what y'all talking I about. Do right don't get canceled, Jack. <laughs> yeah. don't I don't want to do don't it. Don't get canceled. You <laughs> know, yes, it's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I know. I see where you're going with this. Don't I, get I canceled. That's what I'm saying. But I, all I'm saying it's is, perfect. what are you saying? In the culture of the, culture. the Caribbean. Okay. Gotcha. Well, not, not let me not say the Caribbean. And now all I want to do is go get some jerk chicken over in Caribbean. But look, <laughs> look, look. What I'm saying is, put aside the Caribbean, right? Mm -hmm. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Jamaica. That's not. And the crazy thing about it is, and I tell, I say this a lot. You know, it's like all oh, my lives and stuff like that. I and thought it was a stereotype. They don't like that. I that I be saying this, right? Why? But there's a lot of people in the in the Jamaican culture that is into that. 
Okay. They so are it, into that, but it's frowned upon. Okay. So okay. a lot of people, like, I'm sure you, pro well, people in the room, women, probably met a, a Jamaican dude that be like, yo, I'm gonna eat pum pum. They do it. Yeah, they do. Hey, what's going on, man? It's about that time again. It's about that time again. Guess what that is? It's love for the music. Your music, man, what do you say when you get women um, say, why, why should you buy the cow when you get the milk for free? <laughs> what does that mean to you? Uh, that's a... Because my thing is... When women say it? Yeah. Okay. Why buy the cow? When you get the milk for free. When you can get the milk for free. Okay. In what context? In what context, meaning that why am no, I... No, just, just to be clear, I understand. I've heard that before. I understand, you know, but I want to understand where you coming from, from, with, from your questioning, from your line of questioning. What do you, from what context? Well, uh, it's a, a, a thing where a woman has been uh, carrying on mm -hmm. inside a quote unquote relationship. A situation ship. A situation ship for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the friends are looking around and saying, hey, mm -hmm. is he going to marry you or right, what? Right, right. So some would say, man, what's the point of him doing that mm. when y'all uh, mm -hmm. been carrying on like this for uh, so on and so forth? Got it. So that you basically answered the question. That's what that's what that means. Um, and you're asking, what do I say to that? Yes. Why buy the cow when you can get the milk? I mean, facts. Now, I, I, for the sake of, you know, this, this show, I'll expect them. Um, this is why it's, it's important for it to be understood what's happening. Because to just sit back and expect things to take a certain, you know, natural order of, of events, I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's wise. That's why you need to intervene and you need to like, you know, say some stuff like, hey, uh, you know, which is why a lot of the times women do do that. And um, it's a little off-putting. It may have something to do with how it's being presented, how it's said, when it's said, you know. But I think that it's important to be said. And I think that, you know, um, traditionally it's women who, who are asking that question, who are in the position to ask that question and inquire about that and be curious and have anxiety because of it. Um, I think that men, you know, we could stand to be a little more sensitive to that you know, and provide some kind of insight and, and, and security, you know, so just some, just some kind of optimism because, you know, women, as I understand it, they don't like to feel like they're just wasting away. You know, they, they live by a different, you know, schedule than we do when it comes to life, you know, as it pertains to certain things. So things are a lot more urgent, you know, to them when it comes to certain things than it is for us. And we can seem really insensitive because we're like, well, where are you going? Like, I, we've, we've been to do this for the rest. You got time. So I'll get around to it when I'm ready, you know? So I think that it's important as women, in my opinion, to navigate that in a way that sort of puts the man on notice, like, hey, I'm gonna ride with you, but I'm trying to get somewhere. And if I can't get that way with you, then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go, right? And then that puts him in a position to be like, okay, do I ante up and do I upgrade? Do I, you know, respond to that and, you know, secure the situation? Or do I just accept and be honest with myself? Well, I mean, I was just gonna ride it out as long as you was, you was gonna let me. And if you go finna roll, then I guess that's the best thing, you know, and I just roll on to the next because I'm not I'm not ready to make that move, you know. So I think that you're taking a risk and it's a gamble either way. Um, but I think that it's important for both sides, you know, but to your question and to where that question is coming from for women, for you to um, discern a situation, you know, as best as you can, but be willing to make uncomfortable decisions that are that that are designed for your better uh, for your for a better outcome for you, even if it means leave a quote unquote good situation um, for what you may need in order to feel secure within that type of situation. Um, but if it's not that deep, and you know you don't really plan on going anywhere, and this is the person that you think is your person, and 
they've been good in every other facet of the relationship except you know quote unquote locking it down <clears throat> that's a hard that's 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 a, that's a hard call that's a hard call and i think that's the reason why a lot of people stay in relationships in that you know uh single until married spent a situation so that's why i said situation said boyfriend girlfriend engaged you know common law whatever you know like i think they stay in that because there is the expectation you know that they they going to make the decision uh, soon enough you know but everybody you know you know especially as a man i i know you know you can be dealing with a lot of things that are interfering with their ability to make that next move some dudes feel like they need for things to be a certain way in order to do that you know they want to be at a certain financial status they want to you know, feel, you know, they want to be better within themselves, you know, uh, which I highly suggest that you people work on that, especially men, especially black men, you know, go see somebody, go talk to somebody, go fix some things. Um, it's not fair to dump all of that onto, you know, onto your woman. That's, that's, that's a lot. Cause she got her own stuff. Um, my humble opinion. Um, so I think that there's a lot of facts to that. Like why buy the cow when you get the milk for free, you know? So I'm indirectly, you know, also agreeing with it because the other side of it is, you know, take it however you want, but maybe you shouldn't give the milk away for free so much. I like milk. I, okay. Yo, thank you, Music Soul Child. It's been another excellent segment, man, of Love According to Music. I'm Jack Thriller. See you next time. Hey, what's up, what's up, man? It's your boy, Jack Thriller, man. Hey, I'm over here right now when some of the flyest gear in the world, man. Funky, fresh, dressed, ready to party. I got on Bomb City gear, man. Brilliant, open minds become conscious individuals to you. BombCityGear.com. Make sure you go there. Not now, but right now. And ask for my man, Jay Lee. Jay Lee, he is the creator. And uh, tell him you want to look like Jack Thriller, man. You need that special, man. You need that swag. And uh, yeah, you're trying to step your game up, man. Bomb City gear, man. Brilliant, open minds become conscious individuals to you come on now see you next time they just don't they just don't talk about it and the booty hole thing they definitely oh wait they don't even talk about giving head no oh no they don't give head they don't they... you know it sounds like it's a lot of capping over there in jamaica it's definitely it's, it's a lot of cap shun over yeah it's there. a lot of captain crunch <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot of colin kaepernick because exactly. i went to hedonism and it was it was all the way live no he, yeah, i he, heard no, about that no hedonism is I a different i just heard about hedonism beast. They were sucking pieces and parts on people that they didn't even know. Yeah, but there's a bunch of old people there, right? Yo! There's a lot of wrinkled people over there. I've Hold never on, said man. I'm over here listening to all of my years of, of, of having mm -mm. that experience. I, well, I didn't, I'll tell you I about a place watched. that you should go. I was a boy. I'll tell you about another place. Okay. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm hearing Bill Bellamy tell the story about hedonism, and this come, it ain't, you know what I'm And Angela Yeedham, they were, it didn't sound well, you gotta like that. You gotta bring to your hedonism? sand to the beach. Huh? Angela Yee went to Hiddenness? Hid Angela Yee, Stephanie Stefaniago. Oh, no, all of us, we were out there. We used to shoot for the cover of the magazines for Smooth. Smooth. Mm. Yeah, that's when I was doing the, the covers. Smooth, Black Man, King, mm. all of them. Yeah, okay. we were That was doing Hiddenism? It was Hiddenism. That's where Sandy shot the covers at. Sandy! Yeah, I don't know. Sandy. Yeah, I miss her. She was so cool. Yo, she was so cool. She had me as a sex therapist. That's what's up. Yeah. A what? A sex therapist. Sandy used to be up at uh, the, uh, the G Unit office every day yes. and whatnot, and uh, she was like, R -r -r "Oh, so this is Fifty, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, she's yeah, I know very well yeah. respected. Yeah, she um, loved CEO Fifty. Producer. Yeah, she Absolutely. she was up there every damn near every, once a week. She loved the women. I love that she always so, loved women. But hedonism is is a is a resort on its own. Okay. Yeah. So what happens that hedonism has nothing to do with Jamaica? Is that a once a year thing? And it's in the no, grill, right? No, is over. No. No, it's in Kingston, right? No, it's not in Kingston. Where is it at? It's 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 in the it's on the country coast, but it's not in. I was not. about to say it's it was like off. Yeah, yeah. The, the, like the shore, but it was yeah. nice. I I had a good time. I was people were warning me like, oh, it gets scary. Be careful. Don't leave the What's don't scary? leave the compound. Yeah, don't leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Like what what can happen? I mean, it's Jamaica, bro. You might get robbed. It's the hood. You might get jumped. You might get. I mean. The same way that the country thrives off of tourism, mm -hmm. the thieves and the robbers, they thrive off of that too. 
You know what I mean? So you got to be careful when you go to Jamaica. Understood. Understood. You know I mean? Go with me when you when you when you ready to go. Darryl, when, when the next time you taking a Jamaican trip? I, well, actually, I got to be in Jamaica uh, in October. Mm. Oh, nice. I'm doing a show in the stadium with uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Damn, bro! Wow, congratulations! Hey, man, let's talk that? about that. <laughs> so, you deserve it. I so, so for a while. thank you. You're so, um, about four or five years ago, I did a show, the same show, right? They do it every year. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, they didn't do it. But um, they're back to doing it now. The last time we did the show was with Mike Epps. Okay. It was me and Mike Epps. We did the show. Um, Mike didn't do his homework. Mike didn't do his homework. What part of his homework? And, 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 and this, is, this is why that story is important. Because he went to Jamaica. Oh, wow. Okay. Telling American jokes. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. Which, 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 which yeah. they will be receptive to. Mm -hmm. okay. However, certain things you can't talk about in Jamaica, mm. right? So he went there and he was talking about eating ass, mm. which they don't, they don't mess with. That's crazy. Down to the dude that is in the audience that just finished eating the ass mm -hmm. is going to boo you mm -hmm. when you talk about eating ass. That's yeah. how well, Jamaica I, I'm is. I'm curious, what do they find offensive about the ass? It's just, it was a law a long time ago. Really? Boogerism. You, it, was it was against a, the law to eat. It was a boogerism law. This is a booger. Boogerism. Okay, so right, boogerism. which means anything b body, booty. It's, it was against the law at one point in time. It probably still is. Did they ever define why? It was just a law. Like no bit, ass like, eating. Like, yeah, you, from, you know, like, you just give us a lot of rules under the and don't tell nobody ass. why. Like, it, it's almost like biblically. Okay. You know what I'm saying like just like in the Bible, it says you know. Do not eat if, the ass. No, it, I ain't Le never heard no, it in the Bible. No, no, no. I haven't either. It's, I ain't. Look it up. If you. I'm not going to go into it, but if you look in Leviticus, it, it is there, right? Oh, wow. Speaking on Eating same ass. sex, same sex, same sex sex. Right. Okay. So what like if it's a man and so, a woman? They're just not into that. Just don't eat the ass. No, they're okay. not into that, period. Okay. So I ain't going to do what they tell so, me to do. So, so anyhow, <laughs> Mike, I, I, was the, I was the featured act before Mike, mm -hmm. right? And... I was supposed to do 20 minutes. Mm. They didn't want me to do 20 minutes. They wanted me to do 40 minutes. Mm. So I ended up doing 40 minutes and I was killing it, right? Mm. So me killing it, Mike was like, yo, I don't want the, the, the host to bring me up. I want you to bring me up. Nice. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I mean, we was chilling the whole week, you know what I'm saying? So we already knew what we was gonna do probably anyway. So anyway, uh, after I killed, I called him up and Mike went up there and he was killing. In the first five or ten minutes, he was killing. Because, you know, everybody, you know, internationally, everybody watches, you know, like, all those shows and stuff like that. All yeah, the, all the movies. They're familiar. So they're very familiar with who he is. He went into it. For, the first thing that he said that kind of shifted energy was, he was like, damn, there is pretty Jamaican women. He was like, because all the ones. He said that? He's like, because all the ones in the States is ugly. So oh when he God. said that, they was like, wait. What? Okay, now you on the edge, like you bugging, right? And then he went into a, 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 a joke about him eating ass, and there was shit on his mustache. So, <laughs> so ladies need to clean their ass good. That's, that's, and that when, happened to me before. Yeah, <laughs> and when he said that, that's when... Like people from the back, you know, you know, you ever got booed before? Man, would well, have I? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, man, the motherfucker booed my eye out. <laughs> so the boo started from the back, mm -hmm. and it and it. This shit took my hairline out. It front. transcended to the front. Oh man. Yeah. And they started in the Caribbean. One, there's there's good claps and there's bad claps. Okay. So if they clap, if they start clapping for you, that means come off. Oh, that's that exit. Yeah, that's like, all right, we had enough. I got a power. And they started, they started like clapping, and he was like, uh, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off stage. And this was like maybe like 28 minutes in. He was supposed to do an hour. So was this a special? No. Oh, shit. It was just a show, a regular show. And he still got his money, though, right? Oh, yeah, he still got that bread. Okay. Oh, then, hey. oh yeah, everybody got that bread. Yeah. <laughs> he made it out alive and he got you, his check? Yeah, yeah. It was a good day. It yeah, I don't know show. if it was a good day, because now they bring in Cedric back. Oh, he can't even go back? Yeah. 
Oh, oh they, they, they ban you too? Well, you know what they happened? Canceled, what happened was he he didn't take it he didn't take it well. Oh, okay. So he kind of started. I've cur- been there before. He kind of started cursing the the crowd out. Okay. I, I've been there before. He was like, "Man, y'all some mean motherfuckers." Then he started going off. He was like, "I don't know if I'm gonna come back to Jamaica." Oh my god. And he started going off, and everybody was like, "Boo, come on, right, Stitch." Well, how did you handle that? You guys are can't uh, like. I never comedians. got booed before. You've never been booed. No, I've never been booed. Come, sw- come on, bro. I put that on my life. Come on. I put that on my life. Now, when you Not ain't never time. got booed I've one never goddamn bombed. time. I've life. never bombed at all. That's never. amazing. Never. I've never written a joke either. Oh, so you just go off the top of the head? Yeah. So you the Jay-Z of the goddamn comedy? I mean, I would say the Richard Pryor, because they say he didn't he didn't he didn't write either. How long I'm have the you new been Richard. Doing this? I'm the new Richie Rich. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, now 10 you years. know you 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 know Richard was very mm-hmm. vulnerable now. Huh? Are you, you 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 when you say you, do you when you say that Richard name, you, he was super vulnerable. He didn't hold nothing back. Me, Major. I don't hold anything back either. So, so you, you, what's the most vulnerable thing that you talk about in your? Set? I'm the one. I'm the one that. I'm the one that pushed the envelope for mm. the Caribbean. Mm. Like I just said, they don't talk about certain things. I do. Right. If you watch my videos, I I talk about stuff like that. Mm. I I do sketches sketches about gay people and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. I'm comfortable with who I am. Mm. So therefore, there's no border. There's no there's no border for what I talk about. Wildest thing you ever said. I'm gonna go in, and and it's gonna be funny. What is I mean what. What is there to what what is there to lose? Okay, well, for instance, Richard Pryor has talked about having sex with a, uh, a transsexual. And the radiator. Well, I, I haven't done that. Yeah, I was. Like, ha- have you got that personal? Mm-hmm. Which that's what I'm asking you. I do get very personal. What's the most personal thing? That's what I'm asking you. Um, what what's some wild shit where niggas be like, holy oh, shit. shit. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. My my last relationship. Um, it's, well, I want to hear about that. You don't want to hear about it's that. Yes, you do. Yeah, yes, I you want, do. Yeah, I like it. But put do it, do it, do it, <laughs> do it. Um, my last relationship was was was. Were you the good or the bad in the relationship? Oh, if you depends on who you ask. Good answer, because that's the same thing for me. Depends, so it depends on who, on who you ask. You ask him, oh, yeah. she's a piece oh, of Oh, yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm a narcissist, yeah. I'm yeah. controlling, I'm a dictator, I'm everything, if you ask that side. Okay, um, would you agree? No. No. Not at all. But it gets to a point where it can be comical enough to put in your skit. Absolutely. Okay. And I, I don't go full force in, but I'll reference certain things. What, because, what? And the reason why I do that is because I respect her space as well i i understand you understand what i'm saying yeah, i understand but yeah. like what 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 fault i think delicious is asking you do you take inside what accountability what did you do wrong in this re- relationship well what are you willing to put on the line say yes yeah. please do tell um i have no issues with taking accountability that's number one right there's a there's a lot of things that i could have done differently i could have adjusted to the situation because you got to understand being an individual, two individuals coming together, we, we have to learn each other and yes. learn what, you know, what we are willing to tolerate and not tolerate, right? right? So one of the things that I do recognize me doing was being the the bear poker. Okay. I used to poke the bear. I knew, what, I knew what would push her buttons and she knew what would push my buttons. You did it for sport? It was just... I wouldn't say for sport. Malicious? You was being malicious? Mm, Did you resent something about What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, I don't really have a bad... What's yours? I'm a Capricorn. Okay. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Why you ain't do that when I I say Sagittarius? He he feels... Yeah, Capricorn. All right. I got a gang in here. Yeah, okay. Man, I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with Capricorn. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. I want to tell you, though, Capricorns <laughs> is very loyal people. Thank you. Very loyal. Yes, we are. We are very loyal, loyal. to fonts. And they workaholics. Yes. I ain't Crazy. never had good luck with, with Capricorn. Don't ever. say that. Relationship-wise? Or my, my ex-wife was a Capricorn. What's your sign? Uh, I'm a Taurus. Oh, well. That's why. You're a bull. You're a bull. Yeah. Bull, oh, okay. bull, bully. It's a you thing, yeah. Bully. 
It's a me thing. It has to be because Capricorns are good people. Bully, uh, Taurus is, I ain't saying that no, good, Taurus is good not, people too. Yeah, I'm, I'm a great but, guy. But they, they step out of line a lot. Jack is amazing. I'm a, I'm a habitual line crosser now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to tell you that off the rip. I'm, I'm, do, do, I, I know I'm right, but I'm, I'm not going to uh, um, let my opinion have me. If you can make it make sense, mm -hmm. why your way is a better way. If you could tell me why it is, I'm open to listen. Right. Oh, no, that's dope. Okay. Now, that's a Taurus quality. I can respect that. Come I'm on, man. How many times like have that. we talked and everything and I haven't been uh, uh, reasonable? No, I mean, Jack and I will be on the is phone for reasonable? six hours. Is he that's enough to be, if he's on the phone with me, and I'm such a girl. Six hours to, for him to be reasonable? The though? shortest conversation that we've had was probably three hours long. So to me, that's reasonable enough for a man to want to sit with a chatty caddy. So he's just being reasonable because I'm like, Jack, okay, such and such. And he's like, okay, he never rushes me off. Mm -hmm. I'm like, am I long winded? He's like, hell yeah. And I just keep going. He never <laughs> stops me. And I'm like, do you, do my you? Sister's a, my sister's a tourist. She's May 3rd, so. I'm May 7th. You see? Yeah, yeah he's very patient. Yeah. No, I like no, no. that. I'm extremely patient. patient. So like I say, when, I, when I'm having these rifts inside of the relationship is because um, I, I'm having problems with people who are used to people being patient with them and they're taking advantage of the right. situation mm. and they're not being as forthcoming as I am when I can't, when I set the- This sounds like a lot of manipulation. No, it sounds like a liar. <laughs> I'd be telling it's giving, him that. It's giving manipulation it's giving, right now. It's giving, I, I don't know, or it's not personal, but that's my friend. <laughs> and so when we talk, it, it was giving- Oh, is y'all calling me a liar? No. I didn't say liar. I didn't say like Not you. No, I was talking about. Who was y'all talking about? I, I was said, talking about I said the lady. You know the woman we be talking about. Oh, the girl. Yeah. Okay, I was Am about I to say what the fuck. Yes. Okay, got yes. you. Did I snitch? No, the shit. No, I don't we know what's going on right now. We are always talking about her. Oh my god. Who's her? This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Yo, what's going on, man? I know it looked like I got it all together, but I don't. So whenever I'm feeling, you know, lost and I, I can't even get on MapQuest to try to find myself, I go to BetterHelp because I need some better help. We have licensed therapists on call all day to help you get through your problems because, you know, sometimes you don't have a friend or a girlfriend or somebody that just really gets you, but BetterHelp does. I promise you, they've heard it all. And if you don't click with the right people that, that we present to you, I promise you, we got somebody, somebody that knows your plight. It's as easy as one, two, three, man. And it's all online. It's discreet. There's no long lines. Nobody's going to judge you. It's just you and them. Sign up now. Not now, but right now at BetterHelp.com. And if you act right now, first month, you get 10% off. We're using my promo code. Yeah, that's BetterHelp.com slash Thriller. BetterHelp. H E L P slash thriller. Betterhelp dot com slash thriller. Learn more and save ten percent off your first month at betterhelp dot com slash thriller. That's betterhelp H E L P dot com slash thriller. Am I, am I snitching? Uh, I don't know. If you're talking about the girl, then yes. I'm cool with everything that you're talking about. Okay, I'm talking about the girl. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. fuck her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, I'm just... I didn't say it. Jack said I'm lost. I'm just a know. listening ear. No, when he was saying that a person is not forthcoming, I said that sounds more like a liar. The girl? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah if yeah. you're not forthcoming about I, information I that you should is, share... But... Then you know this very and then I understand what you just said. Yes, yeah, very manipulative. manipulative. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And but then on the same you know token, what? you you guys are right because I entertained the manipulation when I could have moonwalked out of it. <laughs> That's right. Went because I'm smart enough to do you, it. You know, you know, you know what I feel. I feel like um, it was that BH. I feel like yeah. That's what it is. I feel like um, got to be that right. Mm -hmm. I feel like 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 um, every. Zodiac has its negative and positive, right? Oh, absolutely. And I feel like um, the older you get, the more you work towards being more positive than negative, mm. right? So 
Like for me as a Sagittarius, I know what my pros and cons is. You know what I mean? But I work, I work towards bettering myself as a person individually every mm. day, daily. So, mm. oh, yeah. so a young Sagittarius, because mm-hmm. you know they call us Sagittarius. My mom is a Sagittarius. I like yeah. Them. So the, a younger, more kind of like not into themselves spiritually and stuff like that, they might be a problem. Oh. Yeah, uh, I don't do well with younger women. And not at all. Yeah, I can't do the I'm immaturity. I'm an old nigga. I can't do the immaturity gotta... at all. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we're in style now. We've been in style. Yeah. We always No, I mean style. older women. Always been. Always been in style. Always, always been. been. I don't know. We crazy. Called... I like women the, that the go to sleep at 9.30. The first booty hole I ever had, I was 12, and the girl was like 16. I like that. I got the rest of the night for myself. You sleep at 9.30. First of all, I heard you just mm-hmm. say that, so you're not going to just let that slip. What? Did you just say that the first time you had booty hole, you were 12? Yeah, 100%. Really? 100%. So you... Female booty hole. Female booty hole. And you just ate At ass. 12 years old. Yeah. But I lost my virginity at 8, so... Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come who on. hurt you? What you mean, who hurt me? Oh, this was on purpose. It was a I woman. Enjoyed that. It was a woman. Oh. I was eight. She was fourteen. Eight and twelve. I couldn't. I couldn't. Could that bitch could... got a problem. <laughs> no, she didn't have a problem. Yes, I was, she did. I was. A, I was available. You was in third grade. She was in ninth grade. No, I was. A, I was available. She, you, you, she was retarded. You know, every time That's I tell somebody that, they tell me, "Oh, you was molested." Right there. I wasn't molested, bro. You were hurt. In that situation. No, Nigga, your game was 14. not that goddamn good. And, 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 no, 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 no. She told me. She was like, that is going to go in here. Exactly. And then she 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 played with it till it got hard. That's I could, a molest. What I couldn't even, I couldn't even come. What type of bus did she ride to school? I couldn't even come. What type of bus did she ride? This wasn't in this country. Oh. Yeah, she was retarded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think she probably was my cousin. <laughs> that, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. And her parents was cousins. Fondling your zozo I'm like joking, that I'm while joking. you're eight. I'm joking. She wasn't a cousin, but she was definitely. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We've all. all so let me ask you a question. I done fingered a cousin, but I ain't never slept with a cousin. So <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Right. So, like I'm the so, only one. So let's, Darius, let's, you're let's, judging me, Darius? Let's get, let's no, get there. Judging let's get me? there, Jack. Why would you finger your cousin? Jack, let's get there. She was the only person to like. So you was playing, that many you people was playing, like around my you neighborhood. Was, you was playing house with your family. Yes, because we really loved each other. You could have fingered an mm-hmm. animal first. Because, animal? Yeah, I, I just don't figure. Where are we family. going? Where are I we mean, going? Y'all ain't, hold on. Play the cat. That's what you, where, we, me and my cousin was the same age. That is me worse. Me and my cousin was the same age. Right now, as an That's adult, you got the she booty feels over? weird. No, that, no, no, no. <laughs> this was just, we was... You know, you you you, 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 you the first person you like is your people that's around you. No, I never did what? my cousins. I ain't say do it. I I, I said I. So let me it. ask you a question. You you you. Let, I'm so, playing. So, I fooled y'all. No. So let me just say, <laughs> so let me just say so, let me just say something. Right? Let's say you you meet somebody right. Uh-huh. You have sex with them. You dating them, whatever the case may be. You yeah. find out that this is one of your distant cousins. Do you cut it off? Yes. Why? Is that even a question? No, I'm asking That's why. That's incest. As long as we don't tell nobody sex. that we cousins. But that wasn't intentional. That was... What you mean it wasn't intentional? We weren't intending to sleep with our cousins when we had sex. No, but you had sex. But we did not know that. The way you lined it up, you said that this is somebody that right. you met. Right, you met them, you had so sex So then my intentions them. was not to have sex with my family. Now, when I find out you're my family, like, get the fuck away from me. Really? Like, yes. Like that? I feel molested. I feel... I feel like you might have known. Feel I feel it, like yeah. you looked into ancestry. I, I feel like it's somebody that care me. about you. They're like for real, for real. And there's so many people out here that we have sex with all the time that don't really care about us. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Blunt, anyone? And it's something about being related to somebody. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are we talking? Now, cut that out. Jesus. Cut, cut, cut that part out. We not. We keeping no, we that. Keep it that. We keeping that. Let's keep that. No, wait that. a minute. So you you rather sleep with your family as long as so they love you? So if you so if you so if you sleep with a woman and you and you go to a family reunion and she's there and you like what's she doing here? I'm like, saying if Robin Givens was my cousin, you hitting it. I'm hitting that forever. <laughs> and forever. I'm gonna tell people forever. I'm gonna tell cousin. If, yeah, yeah. Delicious. If you was my cousin, I'd be cool. I would be fucking you every day, and and I I don't care who nobody. Oh my God, we were kids. It was Ken. Cousins. You, you cousins. Our parents are siblings. They, they, nigga. If you was my sister, I'm this bullshit. I mean, look at <laughs> Yo. Did it cut that part out? Yeah. Y'all need a therapist on this on this on this couch.
Cut it out. I can't stand him. Cut this shit out. Jack. We keeping all of that. <laughs> Jack, you would bone me wow, if I was your Jack. sister. <laughs> Listen, because you love your sister, right? Not that kind of love, though. So how would you even There's two different that? types of love, bro. I'm just saying, like, for instance, all right, check this out. You ever watch Quantum Leap? What oh if you leaped gosh. into the, your your brother? Hey, unmike me, bro. This, this conversation getting a little too strange. Cut that out. Cut that out. It's getting strange up here. Stranger uh, things has happened. Jack, y'all, y'all never watched that show. Jack, what do you? What turns you on? Y'all got the same parents. I'm just saying, like, I see. So you would in, you would fuck a stepsister? He would fuck I, his I have, blood sister. He's about to say I have. I have I, because it's not really your sister. He's about to say, I have. It's not really your sister. <laughs> and then we, look, my, my mama left that nigga. My mom, she's not my sister anymore. Wait, you fuck a stepsister, bro? <laughs> I fingered her. Oh, my gosh. But we, we not related no more. Hey, look, we gonna need a therapist after this show, bro. <laughs> we, hey, cut that out. Cut it part out, too. Yeah, th- this, what th- happens when the parents find out? Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. like if your parents are separated now and they're not together, then is it still your sister, your stepsister? Absolutely. The, even no, the, the, liter- the... literally it's not. Okay, are you really, now see, what you drinking? No, I'm just going to say. No, you cannot, no. If we were stepsister, if my, si- if my father, step-sibling... If my father is dating your mother. Yes. And they get married. You are my not ste- You're my stepsister. Yeah, yes. air your ass If they up. break up. We are no longer anything. No, but I'm still the way I am. Like I said, I'm a Capricorn. I'm very loyal. So I'm going to always call you bro. Don't call me like, bro. I, okay, so my first marriage. I don't like bro. The baby was two years old. He had a daughter when she was two. When we divorced, I kept her all the way till she was 15 years old. As a woman. Why the fuck you do that? Because she, I mean, she, she was my daughter. <laughs> It's understandable. As because a, we, as a we woman, broke up, I got a question. That the relationship broke up. I got a question. As a woman, is is there a difference between bro and bro? Absolutely. If that. What's bro? Okay, no, wait. I'm drunk. I was going to say, the <laughs> girl says, this is your Cut brother or this is your, yeah. your bro. Like, because some girls are really screwing their bros. And their brother may be their blood, but they bro, that's just another Because way I of just heard that bro level. and bro is he, two different things. But he like, love if a woman call you bruh, it's the difference between calling you I think if I say bro. bruh, I'm being a smart ass. Look, bruh. But if I say bro, hey, bro, it's more endearment, you know, connected to that. So I feel, I feel like when you, when a woman calls a guy bro, is, is they fucked before. That's what I was trying to and, say. And they, they don't fuck no more. Yeah, well, I don't got no bro, but yeah, I get it. I know what you mean. By bro that. is like friend zone. Like you ain't never. Hit I don't this. even say a difference. If I'm calling you my brother, I say brother or I say bro. I don't. I oh. never said bro unless I'm like being smart. Like look, bro, and I don't even. Nah, I don't think that there's a, a difference in the two. Let me ask you this: What's He the, don't what, care whether it's bro, bro. He fucking him. He fucking. Yeah, him. you know already. Like, it depends on what she look like and who it is. No, that's your. I'm your sister. <laughs> you getting fucked. You're definitely getting fucked. And you know what's crazy? In Georgia, you know you can marry first cousins? I wouldn't do that now. You, you I wouldn't, that that's up? too much. No, but they tell now you, you when you go to Now you're going too far. Now no, you're going too I'm far. I'm serious. No, you fucked you? your sister. How am I going too far? <laughs> what, are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck? At no, some you, point, you got to separate from each you other. You fingered your sister, bro. Yeah, you yeah. fingered your step and you fucked your, your body. No, it's my stepsister. When my mom and daddy, they not, they not, she not with that nigga no more. I guess not. I would get the fuck on too. You're such she, they, they, a fucking kid. They never found out about that. You're fucking son. She's happily married to a whole nother nigga. Your son is a horn I dog. I left just because of you. You didn't fuck your Damn, sister. Damn, bro. <laughs> Man, we was watching Punky Brewster one day, and one thing led to another, and it just it was just got a little bit out of hand. Did that make it better? Mm. It it was it it, I, it, it was kind of <laughs> crazy because. You, it that, was, you that uncle that be at the barbecue. No, I'm not. No, you are that uncle. No, I'm like, not that uncle. Stay away from that nigga. No, I'm not. <laughs> I, I never go to family reunions. We see why. You You're probably un- not invited. You that uncle that eat all the boiled yeah. peanuts and tell, come here, girl. I am on. I'm the uncle that come do here, eat bro. all the boiled peanuts. Come here, girl. I'm definitely him. <laughs> I, I definitely eat all the uh, the, the, uh, uh, the boiled peanuts, but I don't, I don't be fucking with the kids. No. Jack, 
How? And you didn't even say a kid. Cut I don't think out. you fuck with kids. No, right not there. the kids. I ain't saying you fuck with the. I ain't saying you're a pedophile. No, I'm not saying you're a pedophile. I'm saying you gonna what fuck family members. I'm 44 and you're willing to fuck me at 44. Yeah, 100. percent You don't see the wrong in that. If you're his sister, I can see why you say it's wrong. I definitely see why you say it's wrong. Then why would you do it? When you when you search for porn, what do you what do you type in? Siblings. I, I, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in such thing as a sibling porn. <laughs> you sound like you want to go back. It's giving, it's nah. giving family ram, bro. <laughs> family ram. <laughs> And uh, I just want to know. I, I, I just the same know, porn. I just want to know when you go to to Pornhub or you go. To I, any I watch the site, same porn every what time. Is, what do you type in? I type in Cherokee, a Kelly Star, a uh, Sky Black, mm -hmm. and Pinky. I watch the same porn over and over. The one they, they all together. Shout out to all of them because those are from my. You know my era, whatever. Mm -hmm. I wasn't a porn star. I'm just Cherokee saying. Is I, a, when I Cherokee running. is a problem. Yes, she yes. is. And I so love her Pinky. so much. But I, you know what I love? I love pregnancy porn. You do? Oh my god. Yeah, my husband was fucking way more other women than me when I was pregnant. So I didn't really get a lot. So I'm online. And I told you we need a therapist on this fucking couch. I know. Yeah. But I swear I was online and I couldn't believe I found porn for pregnant women and it was it was featuring women who were pregnant and they were getting. Bang so you looking up? So you looking up Ken folk porn? You looking up pregnant porn? And I'm looking up. B you amateur looking up porn. like Caribbean? You're looking up a lack of BH porn, and that's bad. So I'm, we're all I'm, doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm into I'm into amateur porn. You like BH though? I don't like watching people that just look crazy, and they're not professionals. I don't like what that. Shit. I like that. But crazy is good. I don't like the whole. Porn. I don't like the whole theme shit. Because yeah, I've made. Yeah. I, I made a like porn you before. watch. Like you watch Cherokee, right? Yeah, I love. You Cherokee. saw when she, you know, she busted out of jail and she ended up in some house. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I don't so like that. I'm not line. into that. That's I mean, corny to me. So you just want to just walk in a room and just bust um, it out? That is ridiculous to me. Because so, okay. you're acting. You see, but yeah. you want to see just two and if regular... You're having, if you're having sex... But no. I don't want to hear the acting to fail. Oh, oh my God. But no, oh, I think about yeah, a man. Yeah, yeah. That's corny to me. When I think me. about men, it reminds me of American Pie. So when I think about a man getting ready, you know what I'm saying? In that beginning stage where she's setting up the scene and she has a skit. So you're taking your pants down. You know, you, you're looking and around the pregnant. room. And she's, you know, you're touching yourself, and you're getting ready, and this is all during the skit. You gotta get yourself together, you know. Now your zippers down. First of all, it excited. takes me two hours. I get annoyed with porn because it takes me two hours to find the right video. That's number one. Really? Yes, I'm sitting there with with, with lotion in my hand, and I'm sitting here scrolling through. So you guys do use lotion? Ten thousand. Hey, I did last night. I was watching the Murder Inc. documentary, right? And uh, I'm going to leave. I'm going to head out, man. I'm going to head out. Who was on there? Shanti. This guy. <laughs> it was Ashanti. Was it Ashanti? Yeah. That's it's, what got him excited. It got me excited. Okay, and Ashanti. Good. Man, when Herb was talking about what he was... First of all, let's talk about that. Cut it all out. Right. Because I feel like... Actually, my sister. I feel like Irv need to pipe it down a little bit. I feel like, why is he talking about her? He so missed her, man. Hey, listen, I, yeah. I probably, but uh, Shanti is a bad motherfucker. Yeah, I'll probably still be talking about it, too. I, I, I was just, not even offended. Like, I don't, don't, I don't whack like, off to oh her. Oh, my God. What was oh that video? God. What was the video I would have had, had a fucking for beats, too. Like no, so she much. had a video out. No, not, I'm not talking about, you talking like about a music video? I'm talking about a a porn. Yeah, she had a sex tape out. With who? It was with Shanti and somebody else. I've only known about her with two guys. When she was in the car. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know oh, the rumors. Nobody else know about that? Darius, can you look? The, okay, what sorry, Shanti. I'm not trying to look at your video. Yes, I am. I, I am trying to, trying to look at that. Darius, a, is there a video? Yeah, but Shanti a video. is. We have to ask Darius. There's 100% a video. Yeah. Oh, Shanti. Yeah, everybody in our studio audience it, is It's about like five. Now. I know. I, it's so Damn. many girls. Damn. All of y'all want to see a Shanti new see... job. Look at everybody. <laughs> everybody Googling the Shanti. <laughs> I don't see that porn. before. She you, in the it's a lot of girls look like a Shanti so man. A, She's in know, the Range Rover. If you can scale it between Kim K's, which I is think you're right. One, and a, and I Ashanti, I which watch, one is I better? I don't watch Kim K. You didn't watch that one with Ray J? I watched no, it. It didn't no. do nothing for me. Kim K don't turn me now, on. That had a long outline. You see, you see, for me, it didn't do nothing because of, I, I think because of Ray J. Oh, he threw it off. Yeah, all that shit lame. Yeah, I don't. I can't now, fuck with you, it. 
why you think that was lame? That shit, I can't, I don't want to see Ray J fucking nobody. Okay. And I don't want to see Kim K, she don't do it for me. Yeah, she don't do it for I, me. I'm, I'm a melanin type of guy yeah, when it comes too. to shit like that. Me too. I yeah. think it was just the excitement because it, you wouldn't think that she would. I'm have not one. into the Kim K. Thing. I don't give a fuck. I, I expect she's a, a lot of shit woman. out of Kim K. She's I a beautiful like woman. She's she's you know. I think she's she, 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 she is. I, I just don't but care I, about it. Just her. don't it just don't do it for me. So no. you telling me you will fuck your sister, but you won't fuck Kim K? No, I will fuck Kim. I will fuck the dog monkey out of Kim K. <laughs> but I don't want to watch porn with. Her. I don't just be like thinking about Kim K's like, damn, I wonder what Kim K doing right now. No. I never think what about that. What woman makes you think like that, Jack? Um, Queen Latifah, um, it's the brat. Did you say Queen Latifah? Yeah, one hundred percent. I I always think you want to hit the queen. I would love to take to be down. with. Yes, yeah. That's a unity. Yes. So where were you? Where were you start first? Shout, you were the, with queen. shout the queen. Shout Latifah, the queen Latifah, man. Queen Latifah. I'm trying to see what that's that BH girl, balance man. about. Oh my god. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love Queen Latifah, man. And she know it, too. I meant the date, not you oh. went right Oh, in. a date. A, a date? <laughs> I don't really want to go on a date. I don't, I'm the not brat. really a date type of you guy. You said the brat? It, it, yeah, I love the brat. It's given, she know. It's given, it's given almost trans, trans, But all of these trans. women are sexy. De don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. No, I'm saying. But no, she just got married to a, a young lady. Right. Come on, that's what I'm saying. Lady. He likes booty old. Oh. And he likes women who likes women. Uh, oh. yeah. Oh. Hello. And he likes his sister. Yeah. And it's not feminine women, so it's it's giving. Dang. What what did that give you? What was your conclusion? It's telling me that he wants to jump the fence. Like uh, like men? No, nigga, trick Nick. Let me tell you. No. Let it's me, giving he likes transgender. transgender. No. no, but you know what? There are some baddies. They're really no, no, like, like transgender no. that ain't fully did the operation. Nah, see that. See that. That's the just. Banana? That's just being cheap. Yep. Yeah, if you, had, you, if you ain't got enough respect for me to cut your dick off, I ain't got time for you. Hey, cut that out. Banana. In the cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> take, take yeah, that let's out. cut that out. Let's cut, that. cut all that out. Cut, let's, it's let's, when they are woman. Banana, banana in the tailpipe. Yeah, banana yeah, in the tailpipe. Out. No, no. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Hey, yo. It's. I just want to just say it's always an experience when I come to a show. That you have Jack. Yes, Jack. Is Did you have a good time in New Jack Thriller City, bro? It's always a good time, man. It's, it's so always a good time. Will you come back? Absolutely. What are you talking about? I like conversations where I hear you fucking your sister and shit like that. I like yeah, shit you like know, that. It's, I can't believe it makes me feel family. normal. I never fucked with my sister before. I'm just saying that my sister. You was fingered her. You? What's the difference, Shaq? I, 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 I you see touched your jiny. You smelled it. You probably tasted it. Did you taste what's it? the difference? We was 12. And you know people don't wash good when they're 12. And I, I it was the wrong <laughs> hole. Wash good. It was the wrong hole. It was man, you be doing stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Good, thing you, I know. Good, good thing you had a praying grandmother. Oh, well, come on, you better tell a friend yes. to tell a friend. Okay. <laughs> hey, man, yo, like I said before, man, major hype, man. I appreciate you coming to the show. It's always a pleasure, yes. man. It's always a pleasure to be here with you, brother. Yeah, and hey, listen, we're gonna develop some shit together and whatnot. Absolutely. That the idea that you had, bro. Absolutely. We got a lot of things in the pipelines, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Pause. Because the sure. conversation was really, yes, but we, you know, fancy. Yeah, we got some things that we're gonna be doing, and um, like I said, man, look out for major hype. Follow me on Instagram. Also, uh, make sure that you uh pull up to my shows, man. If you want to laugh and have a good time, that's what. It's oh, about. I love that live. That's so dope. I'm coming. Absolutely. Well, like I always say, you just can't say you really something. You gotta be, man. We open, we out of here. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial, and don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. I see you next time. <laughs> Take us out, baby. The gold thriller, Jack Thriller, Moni Snickers. Bought the gold thriller, Jack Thriller, Moni Snickers. Bought the.